Hi, it's Angry Admin here from AngrySystems.com and in the previous video I showed you how to install ESXi version 8 and uh, as you can see on the screen and today I will show you how to install vCenter version 8 onto that ESXi host. If you haven't seen the video about ESXi, please check the link uh, here or here uh, before you proceed with this video. If you have seen it already, let's start installing our vCenter. The first thing we need to do is to download the ISO. So if you go to the customerconnect.vmr.com, uh, you can download uh, vCenter Server 8.0. I already downloaded my ISO and we can start the installation process. As you can see, I already have my ISO downloaded. So let's mount that ISO and let's start installation. We are going to UI installer. And as I am on the Windows machine, I, I'm going to Windows 32 folder and installer.exe. And we see the wizard. And as in this video, we are going to do fresh installation. So click install and I click next. Now, of course, you need to read uh, all the terms and condition and accept them. Click next. In this step, we need to provide a target ESXi host or vCenter. So I'll be installing on my ESXi host. And we need to put FQDN. Now, root user and a password to your ESXi host. Okay, click next. Accept certificate. In this step, uh, we will name our vCenter. So I'm following my naming convention, but you can name whatever you, um, whatever naming convention you have. Now we set password for root. Okay. And click next. Now, you have to choose the deployment size. Um, this is my just showcase. I'm going with the tiny one and default size of database. I don't need uh, more for my, um, for my lab and to show you. So I just click next. Obviously we have an error message about the memory. Uh, 4 gigabyte required 14. Um, let me quickly fix that. And as we fix the memory issue, obviously, where was my mind? <laughs> uh, it says 14 uh, gigabytes and I just put four. Okay, it doesn't matter. We fix that one very quickly. <laughs> so let's click next. Uh, yeah, we choose the data store over here. On the next video, which I encourage you now to subscribe to my channel and click notification bell, because in the next video, I will show you how to update your vCenter 7.0 to 8.0. It will be very interesting. So yeah, just hit the notification bell, not to miss that video. So uh, ah, let's, let's just check and I will um, and let's continue. Now, the network settings. Um, so, uh, just a few seconds.
once we have this one, uh, I see the error message. Uh, I see the error. Okay, and once we happy with the settings, we just click finished, finish, and the stage one begin. It will take some time, so please use this time um, for a coffee break, but also don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. I will speed up the video now and we'll see you in a few seconds. And as you can see, the stage one of deployment has been finished. So we can either go um, to the VAMI uh, by IP address and uh, port uh, 5480 or just simply click continue. And we see that stage one again is finished. Now let's set up stage two. We click next. Okay, on this um, patch, we will set up the time synchronization. Uh, for now, I just set up the ESXi host and I will activate SSH access just to avoid any uh, surprise. So let's click next. And now we will create the new SSO domain. Uh, we live as a vSphere.local, but this is one trick. You have to actually type in vSphere local and the uh, username is administrator uh, you have to set up the password and confirm it and click next now um, if you want to uh, participate in the customer experience uh, improvement program. Uh, leave that tick, I just don't join now. And let's have a quick look if the settings are okay. I think it's okay and let's click finish. This is just a warning that you will not be able to pause or stop the installation from completing once it's started. I'm fine with that. Right guys, now stage two is kicking in uh, and this is very good time for you to click on the subscribe button and click on the like and click on the notification bell just not to miss any of my videos. And um, the next video will be very interesting because we will be doing an upgrade from 7.0 to 8.0, from 6.7 to 8.0, uh, but I will tell you like step by step how to do it. So again, subscribe, click notification bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, you know how to reach me. You can reach me over the Twitter and my handle is at angry sysops. Okay, see you in a few moments. Okay, and that's it. So install stage two has been complete. We can close it now and we can try to access our vCenter. So let's have a look if, uh, if we can access it. Okay, that looks good. And here we are. Launch the client. And as I didn't connect uh, that vCenter to um, domain yet, uh, I will use the local administrator account. And here we are, uh, the new vCenter 
Ta -da. Okay, guys, um, that is everything what I have for you today. In another video, we will go through um, what's new in this vCenter. So please uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell also so you don't miss that video. And let's confirm it. Yes, and this is the version 8.00. Let's have a look also for a uh, VAMI. Uh, and let's log in. And we can see this is version 8. Okay, again, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you need to chat to me, please do it through DM on Twitter. My handler is at AngrySysop. Uh, YouTube, you can find now with the handler as well. It's at AngryAdmin. And see you in the next video. Bye.